Good morning. Today is Wednesday, the 1st of July. The readings are of those of the Feria, but we remember St. Oliver Plunkett. In the name the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, through the grace of adoption, you chose us to be children of light. Grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. First reading, again, is from the prophet Amos, like the previous two days, and the message being reinforced opens, Seek good and not evil, so that you may live. Then it goes on to say, Maintain justice at the city gate, and then in relation to church feasts, I hate and despise your feasts, I look for justice. The Gospel continues from Matthew, continues where we left off yesterday, Matthew 8, chapter 28 to 34. When Jesus reached the country of the Gadarenes, on the other side of the lake, two demoniacs came towards him out of the tombs, creatures so fierce that no one could pass that way. They stood there shouting, What do you want with us, Son of God? Have you come to torture us before the time? Now some distance away there was a large herd of pigs feeding, and the devils pleaded with Jesus, If you cast us out, send us into the herd of pigs. And he said to them, Go then. And they came out and made for the pigs, and at that the whole herd charged down the cliff into the lake and perished in the water. The swineherds ran off and made for the town, where they told the whole story, including what had happened to the demoniacs. At this the whole town set out to meet Jesus, and as soon as they saw him, they implored him to leave the neighbourhood. The Gospel of the Lord. So this story of Jesus tells us again of his extraordinary power that he represents the power of God, power of good in this world. Yesterday he had power over the weather, the high winds and the high sea. Today he has power over the evil spirits. He casts them out of the two possessed men and the spirits go into the, the herd of pigs and they rush into the sea and they all drown. But what happens next? The people of the town, when the two men who've been cured, the swineherds, uh, come and tell them what happened, the people of the town come out and meet Jesus. But instead of welcoming him for curing those who are possessed by evil spirits, they implore him to go away. Interestingly, to speculate what it was that they were so frightened of, did they not want change? Were they frightened of his power? Was he coming to change the order of things? Jesus was clearly somebody who changed the world and they in many ways couldn't cope with that and they asked him to leave. There are two saints we remember today and they kind of in a sense illustrate the difficulties and the demands and challenges of Christianity in the real world. First is St. Oliver Plunkett, for many years the Archbishop of Armagh, but against whom Cromwell and his assistants fought, and eventually they managed to bring him to England on trumped-up charges, and he was killed at uh, Marble Arch at uh, Tyburn. And I think he was the last to be killed for his religion um, during the period of persecution. Also today is the feast of St. Junipero or Juniper Serra, who was a Franciscan and led many of the missionary uh, works along the west coast of America, founding places like San Francisco and Los Angeles and all those places with Catholic names. But right now 
he's at the centre of a great storm because it's statues of him that are being pulled down because he's been accused of imposing Christianity on the native religion of, a, of the Indians and in a sense sabotaging what people had and imposing something from the outside. All Christian preaching is always an, a ch cause for change. We believe it's a change for the good. But did St. Juniper preach at the point of a gun? No, he didn't. Was it the custom of the time, though, that where the Spanish went, the church followed and spent time looking after the natives, as they called them, people who were native to the lands, educating them, yes, and teaching them the good news of Jesus. But from a time scale of today, this is, this is questionable. And it shows the interesting times we live in and how we must be participating in the discussion of what is the light of Christ that we are called to follow and how does it apply in today's world. We turn now to our bidding prayers. The response to the bidding prayers is, Lord Jesus, we are your family. Lord Jesus, we are your family. We give thanks to Christ and we praise him because he was not ashamed to call us his brothers and sisters. Lord Jesus, we are your family. Help us to live the new life of Easter so that we may know through, that the world may know through us the power of your love. Lord Jesus, we are your family. Every day is a proof of your love. As you bring us to this new day, make us new in mind and in heart. Lord Jesus, we are your family. Teach us to see you present in all people. Help us to recognise you most of all in those who suffer. Lord Jesus, we are your family. May our lives today be filled with your compassion. Give us the spirit of forgiveness and a generous heart. Lord Jesus, we are your family. And so we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. We pray. God our Saviour, through the grace of baptism, you have made us children of light. Hear our prayer, that we may always walk in that light, and work for the truth of your witnesses before all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Bye. All the best. God bless.